Okay, this is going to be a short video about how I'm going about calibrating uh, my motor to the RPM uh, that's being read by Mach 3. Uh, this is just a simple example of how I'm doing this. Uh, there could be other ways that uh, I'm not aware of, but so far this seems to be working for me. Um, I have um, basically my Sang Mutan motor set up and my Grizzly SX3. I'm using the factory pulleys, which is a pulley ratio of 1 to 0.5, um, meaning that I'm having to basically reduce the speed of the spindle, which actually does the cutting, um, but I'm able to get accurate results through RPM. And let me show you what I mean. Under config, I'm going to spindle pulley. And while the same Mutan motor is a minimum speed of 400 RPM to 6,000 RPM, since I'm doing a 0.5 ratio on my spindle speed, this speed of my actual cutting spindle is 200 to 3,000. So basically this number I'll start with. In order to calibrate it, I have to have an RPM input, which will show up here. And then basically when the motor is turning, it will receive an input from the C3 index card that I have from CNC for PC, and it will read here. By doing that, I can use the calibrate spindle function in Mach. I want to start with my smallest speed, or my slowest, which is going to be 200 in this case. And then basically what Mach will do, will continue to send inputs to the motor to get it to try to match that speed. So here, we will see this control number go up as the motor keeps getting faster and faster in order to send the number of pulses to Mach, or, or pulses to the controller to match the speed. So basically here's how it does. I mean this is it. Uh, we pick the spindle pulley number which is the same one that I showed you just a moment ago which is number one. We turn the spindle on at its slow speed. So now the spindle speed is reading. You see we're, we're building up speed to 200 RPM. It's going to read about 200 RPM. And then now at this point we auto calibrate. It's going to stop the spindle and it's going to start. This was my previous curve that I tested so we're going to try to compare this again. So we're going to see that this control ratio keeps going up as it sends pulses to the mill. And then when the mill and the control RPM start matching, then we're starting to see a straight line on the curve. So basically this is the process. Um, it will continue from the number you enter here all the way up to the maximum you've entered into the spindle pulley, which is 3000 in the pulley number one settings. And that's really the process. So it will continue to go up, and you'll see mine that starts actually getting uh, to, to the point it's going to speed up at about 0.1. So now we're, if you notice, my RPM is way off. It's saying that it wants to control 530, but it's actually seeing 260 roughly. So what happens is, is Mach 3 keeps a kind of an a log of how this thing affects as it goes up with the control number. So when you request the speed here in the MDI or in your G-code program or whatnot, it knows what control number actually reached that RPM. So rather than trying to use just any just random pulse width number, it knows by its log that we tested here what it needs to use. And you can slowly hear the motor going up in speed, and it will continue to do this until it gets to 3,000 RPM. You'll notice that as we get higher in the speed, our, our torque curve will probably stay the same on this screen but when you do it the very first time. It's going to start from zero and go straight to this corner. And then you can kind of see the difference between how it, it jumps across. Um, mine met in the center right in there. So at that point, my line actually dropped below. It, it seems to be doing well. And this can be done with not only a pulse width modulated motor, but also one that's using the VFD, uh, you know, anything like that. As long as you've got some kind of an RPM input, and in some way that Mach 3 can send a signal out to the motor, uh, it will calibrate it.
That's another nice feature of Mach 3 that sure makes things a lot easier. I'm going to go ahead and pause this until we get a little further up and I'll show you what the ending process is. And that's it. That's calibrating Mach 3 to the mill. Um, and again, it's a C3 index card reading the RPM off of the actual cutting spindle itself. Uh, and then the pulses being sent out to the Sang Mutan controller that I have, which could be any controller that you're using that uh, will accept Mach 3 input to control spindle speed and uh, on and off. So there you are.